Hey folks, welcome to our YouTube channel U Facts Entertainment. We know that India has been the place of many rulers and many greatest warriors. Today we are going to see the deadliest traditional weapons used by these warriors. Let's get started. Taba weapon is a battle axe which was used by many Indian clans till 18th century. Taba was a standard weapon of the cavalry horsemen warriors who fought mounted on the horseback. It was made of entirely solid steel or with a wooden half of approximately 22 inches. It has a strongly crescent shaped recurved blade with a square hammer opposite of the blade. Some tabas was also equipped with a 5 inch slim blade at its half head. So if warrior used this taba with a great momentum and with a great accuracy, one blow is quite enough to slay down the enemy. This sword has a straight blade which was double edged and that broadens near the tip. A guard is connected at the hilt of this sword to protect the finger of the wilder. This sword is a heavyweight sword and as it is a double edged, a powerful blow can cut an enemy into half. This sword was wielded by our great Indian warriors like Prithviraj Chauhan, Mahana Pratap and Akali Deep Singh and many more warriors in India. Kata is a dagger with an edge shaped horizontal hand grip which results in the blade sitting above the user's knuckle. It was originated in South India and used by almost every warrior clan in India. It has a short wide triangular blade measuring 12 to 35 inches in length. It can pierce the armor easily. Some katars had multiple blades and has a scissor like structure which gets spread after stabbing so that it would shed the flesh of the enemy. As it is a short range weapon it can easily be disguised by the warrior. Arrival. It is actually a South Indian sword which measures 3 to 6 feet in length. This sword has a curved end with a sharp point. This curved end is used for grabbing purpose. So just imagine what will happen if the enemy's flesh gets grabbed by a arrival. So arrival cannot be used for stabbing but it can tear apart the enemy's body with a terrible cut. Chakram is a circular throwing weapon in India having approximately diameter 5 to 12 inches. It was mostly used by Sikh warriors to slice the enemy's throat or to cut his arm. It is a long range type weapon made of steel or brass. Steel chakram could be thrown up to 40 to 60 meters while the brass chakram due to a better airfoil design could be thrown up to 100 meters. Bichwa and Bagnaka Actually these are two different weapons where Bichwa is a dagger with a sharp blade and Bagnaka is a claws like weapon designed to fit under and against the palm. Menu Bagnaka also incorporated with the Bichwa on one end of it. Bagnaka itself means a tiger's claw so it is believed to be inspired from a tiger. Maratha Emperor Chhatrapati Shivaji Raji Bhosle defeated the Bijapur General Abdul Khan who was well known for his physical strength with the help of Bagnaka and Bichwa. So because of ease of carrying and hiding, these two weapons can be proved very deadliest weapons. Dantpatta is an Indian flexible sword with a gauntlet where a gauntlet is used for protection of the warrior's hand. It has a straight and double edged blade which measures up to 10 to 44 inches in length. This weapon was considered to be a highly effective weapon against the armored enemies. It was one of the best swords among the Maratha warriors. Talwar is a single-edged curved sword with a pointed tip and with a disc hilt. It has some resembling nature with the Persian sword called Shamshir, but Talwar has a wider blade than Shamshir. It could be used for thrusting as well as a cutting purpose. It was used by very commonly by almost all Indian warriors. A warrior wielded with a Talwar can easily amputate the enemy from any direction. Zulfikar was split blade tip sword which was mostly used by Mughal and Sikh warriors. The hilt of Zulfikar carries a handguard and sideguard to protect the finger of a warrior. The blade is of a heavy thick steel, deeply curved the edges to the front and back with a large serrated teeth designed specifically to shred the enemy. Urmi is a flexible sword with a whip like steel blade originating from South India. It was usually made of steel or brass measuring 48 to 66 inches long. It can be single blade or multiple bladed. It is considered to be one of the most difficult weapons to master due to the risk of injuring ourselves. So mastering Urmi requires perfect coordination, concentration and agility. But not in a use, Urmi is coiled around the waist like a belt. Combination of color repaired warriors with the dual Urmi, one in each hand can prove a mass destruction killing machine. So this makes Urmi as the deadliest weapon in our list. If you like our work, please do hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to like our video. Thank you.